Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. It's math class, and today we have a new lesson. That's why, everyone, I want you to pay attention and listen carefully to Miss Mona. So, before <clears throat> talking about the lesson of today, I want you to help me to read the day and date. So, let's read the day and date. The day is Wednesday. And the date? April 29, 2020. Excellent. So, everyone, get your math book because we are going to use it today. Grab some pencils and be ready. So, the title of the lesson is Problem Solving Strategy. Make a table. Wow, that's too long, right? But... I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just listen carefully and you are going to understand the lesson. So everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to make a table to solve problems. Here we go, mental math time. Okay, what I want you to do is to add these numbers together okay i'm gonna show you something easy okay so let's add these numbers together what you are going to do is to add the first digit okay the first digit well done and then you're gonna add the zero so let's do the first one three plus two five and then i'm gonna add the zero here okay let's do what's next 40 plus 20 4 plus 2, 6, 60. Excellent. 50 plus 20, let's add first Five plus the first zero. digit, okay. 5 plus 2 equals 7, and now we will add the 0. Well done. Let's do this. 80 plus 20 equals 100. 8 plus 2 equals 10. 8 plus 2, excellent. 8 plus 2 equal? 10. 10. Well done. Equal 10. And then we added the 0. 70 plus 20? 20. Yeah. Equals 7 plus 2 equals 9. Excellent. And then we're going to add? The 0. Well done. Finally? 60 plus 20. 6 plus 2 equals 80. 6 plus 2 equals 8, and then we add 0. Well done. So everyone, let's revise what we have learned before about paragraphs. And what you are going to do here is to draw a paragraph titled, My Favorite Animal. Show that 10 people like horses, 5 like dogs, 4 like cats, and 2 like cows. How many more people like horses? than dogs so everyone what you are going to do is to understand the problem after that you're gonna plan what to do for example you're gonna let's say you will circle the numbers okay and then solve the problem so as you can see this paragraph will be about my favorite animal so you're gonna write it over here okay everyone after that, you're going to color. Okay, let's go here. So, how many people voted for horses? Ten people. So, you're going to color. One, two, three, sorry. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So, you're going to color ten boxes. Okay? And five like dogs so where's the dogs are here so we're gonna color only five boxes and then four like cats four like cats so we're gonna color five sorry four boxes and two likes sorry two like cows so we're gonna color two oh, cows. only two two boxes okay so here Let's 
read this question okay how many more people like horses than dogs so what we are going to do here how many more people like horses than dogs what we are going to do we are going to subtract subtract for excellent so how many more people like horses than dogs so how many people voted for horse for horses 10 right and how many people voted for dogs five five so 10 plus five equal five how do we know that we are going to subtract because of the word than than means we are going to subtract so everyone copy the link below in your browser and watch the introduction video about problem solving strategy make a table so if you are watching the video you are gonna find the links in the description below so as i said to you so far uh, we are going to use the math book so please open page um, 561 okay everyone so here is a question okay and to learn or to make a strategy means there are steps that you are going to follow okay everyone so what is the strategy that we are going to follow and this strategy will help us to solve any problem i mean here mathematic problem or mathematical problem you need to know the steps how do we start how do we solve the problem how do we plan it and so on so the first thing that we are going to do is to understand understand the problem so you need to underline what you know and circle what you need to find this is step number one step number two which is plan how will i solve the problem what is the strategy that i am going to use to solve the problem here i am talking about a problem everyone so if you have a problem as i said to you you need to understand what is the problem and then you need to have a plan and finally you need to or you are going to solve the or solve the problem so let's read the question everyone together and then um, please don't forget to follow the steps understand plan and solve so the breakfast special at Darla's dinner comes with a three pancakes five friends order the breakfast special how many pancakes will they get in all so what we are going to do first is to underline what do we know so as you can see here we're talking about breakfast and the breakfast comes with a three pan cakes okay three pan cakes five friends order the breakfast so we have here two numbers number three and number five finally we will read the question how many pancakes will they get in all so everyone let me erase this okay so as i said to you so far we need to circle the numbers here number three and here number five so how many pancakes will they get an all it means we are gonna add because we will find the total right so everyone what we are going to do to solve this problem is to count by three well done so for example let me say how many friends do we have one 
two, three, four, five, right? So each of them got how many pancakes? Three. Three, okay? As you can see, each one of them got three pancakes. Okay, everyone? So what we're going to do is to skip count by three. So, okay, let's write here three. Okay, if we add more three, it will be six. And if we add more three to number six, it will be nine. And if we add more, or if we add three to number nine, it will be twelve. And if we add three to number twelve, it will be fifteen. Fifteen. So the answer, everyone, is fifteen. Here I used the table because the table will organize my work. As you can see here, here are the five friends and then here the numbers, okay? Here we go everyone, task options. On the following slides you will see two different tasks. So you can choose to complete task one or task two. Okay, so open page 562. Okay, everyone, this is the page. Open the page and let's solve the problem. Here are the strategies that we're going to follow. We need to understand and then to have a plan and finally solve the problem. So, write the day and date, everyone, please don't forget. Now, let's read. Let's read the question together and then try to solve the problem. Okay, let's start. Each person in the class has the same number of pets. Two people have four pets. How many pets do seven people have? So, first of all, we need to circle. What do we know? As you can see here, each person in the class has the same number of pets, okay? Two people, or two, this is the first number, two people have four pets. How many pets do seven people have? So everyone, what I am going to do is to, as I said to you, um, we have here seven people. Okay, we're going to list the seven, the seven people here. And we're going to do it this way. So one, how many people do we have? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So each one of them, each one of them has two, two pets. So... So, the first person has two, and then we're going to add two more, it will be four. four, add two more to number four, it will be six, excellent, and then six, add two more, eight, eight. add two more to number eight, it will be ten. ten, add two more to number ten, and it will be twelve. 12 and add two more to number 12 it will be 14 14 so the answer is 14 14 and there is another way to do it which is to count by to count by two well done to skip count by two so let's skip count here two four, four six Okay, eight, eight. Ten. Ten. It's very small, everyone. Twelve. Twelve. And then? Fourteen. Fourteen. So, you write them properly because I can write them here. So, okay, everyone. So, you are gonna, you will skip, count by twos to solve this problem and the answer was 
14. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So here we go, task number 2. Um, as you can see, here is a question or a problem and we are going to solve the problem. And we will use the table because the table will make our job more or much easier. So let's read and remember the strategy. You need to understand, plan and solve. So let's start. Chandera is giving a fruit snack bag to each of her four friends. She puts four pear slices and two apple slices in each bag. How many fruit slices are there in all? So let's change the name into Mariam. Okay, everyone. So Mariam is giving a fruit snack back to each of her four friends. Okay, four friends. She puts four pear slices and two apple slices in each bag. So four plus two equal equal six. six. Well done. How many fruit slices are there in all? Okay, we're talking about apple and pear. Yeah. So I add four plus two equals six. Okay, everyone, because here it's written she puts four pear slices and two apple slices in each bag. So the answer is six. six. Okay, and then how many fruit slices are there in all? So we're gonna use the table. Okay, everyone. We're gonna use the table. We're gonna add here the four friends. And and then we will say, or as you can see, each one of them has six fruit slices, which is the total of the apple and the pear. Okay? So let's add now. Okay, so we're gonna skip count by six. Well then. So add Six more to number six, you will 12. have 12. Add six to number 12, you will have 18. 18. Add more six to number 18, you will have 24. 24. So the answer, everyone, is 24. 24. So, everyone, we have learned how to use um, the strategy to solve. The problem, we need to understand, uh, plan and solve, and then make a table because the table will help us to solve the problem. Okay, here's the closure. Underline what you know, circle what you need to find. Four turtles fit in one tank. Chan has three tanks. How many turtles can he have. So I want you to try to do this by yourself. Okay, everyone. And finally, don't forget to upload your answers in your portfolio in Class Dojo and have a great day.